This is the slide transition. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do it. Make sure to watch to the end because I show you a few different ways on how to make this different and make it stand out even more. So the first thing you'll do, and obviously we're in Premiere, is just go through and cut out different sections of your video that you want to be in there. We'll cut here and just go through and make your cuts. So as you can see, I made my cuts. These will be the clips I transition in between. And I have about 10 cuts, but you can do this with as many or as few clips as you want. So you can do 20 cuts, you can do 30 cuts, or you can do five cuts, but I think around 10 is usually the sweet spot. So what you'll do now is you'll go to the very start of your timeline where your first clip is, and you'll use your keys on your keyboard to move one, two, three frames forward. Then you'll drag your second clip right to your playhead on your timeline. And then you'll go one, two, three frames forward again and drag your third clip in. So they're stacked on top of each other. And you'll just continue to do this every time. So again, one, two, three, drag the fourth on top. One, two, three, drag the fifth on top. And make sure there's three frames extra in the bottom clip. So what I mean by that is you cut this clip so it's just one, two, three frames. The transition isn't gonna work because that layer is gonna disappear before the other one comes down. So make sure there's at least three frames in each clip below the top one. So you can see here, one, two, three frames. So I'm just gonna go here and stack the rest of my 10 cuts. And now yours should look just like that. Everything just stacked on top of each other. Now here comes the fun part. But before we get into that, I just wanna remind you guys to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. We're still a small channel and any and all engagement really helps us continue to make these great tutorials for you. Okay, back to the video. So let's get into the transition part. Go to effects, search, transform, and add it to your second clip, the clip that's above your first clip. You don't want it on your very first clip because then it would be transitioning from a black screen to the slide, and we want an image to already be on the screen when the transition starts. So then you'll click on your second clip, make sure it's highlighted, and you'll go to effects controls. Here, what you'll do is you'll turn your shutter angle to 200. Your shutter angle means it's basically motion blur. There's no motion blur setting in Premiere Pro, rather you have shutter angle and the transform effect allows you to do that. So what you'll do, make sure your playhead is at the very start of the clip and you'll go to position, then move the position all the way up so it's completely off screen and keyframe. Then move three frames forward, one, two, three, and you will hit this back button reset parameter. And what this does is bring your clip back to normal. So now you can see we have our first transition. You can see it comes down and then this one starts. So what do you do now? You could do the same thing that we just did, but let me show you a trick that makes it super easy. Instead of redoing that whole process again, right click on the clip we just adjusted, hit copy, and then select all the other clips, right click, paste attributes, make sure the transform effect is selected and press okay. And now it's as easy as that. Pretty cool, right? And there you have the slide transition, but we're not done. You can make this slide transition come from any way you want. Let me show you. So say we wanted it to come from the bottom instead. Instead of putting it to the top layer, we're gonna drag it down. Same thing, one, two, three frames forward. Hit this reset parameter button, copy, select all, and paste. And now, we have them all coming from the bottom. If you wanted them to come to the left or the right, again, position only now you adjust this position right here, keyframe set, one, two, three frames forward, reset parameter, make sure your clip selected, copy and paste. And now they're all coming from the left side. And these are keyframing techniques you can use in many situations. If you enjoyed this video or learned something from it, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, and tell us what you want to learn next. It'll be in one of our future videos. Make sure to check out Mirror Camp and join our online school for more.